We gear up for more hot days. It is important to talk about safety. More than 940 children have died of heat stroke because they were left or became trapped in a hot car over the past 25 years. That is according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. So joining us now is Dr. Neil Sella, pediatric ER physician from Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children. Thanks so much for joining us today. All right, so let's talk about this. Why are children so often susceptible to heat stroke? Yeah, um, well, one thing I'd say is that uh, the heat can rise so quickly in the car in the summer when it's an enclosed area. So it's a matter of minutes before that temperature gets really elevated, not hours. And then um, children are more susceptible just because they have smaller bodies and less ability to dissipate heat. So um, they can suffer the consequences of heat stroke a lot quicker than adults. So if you see a child in a hot car, what should you do? And what are the signs of heat stroke? What should we be looking for? Yeah, so, you know, hypothetical situation, you're walking through a parking lot, going to a grocery store, and you see a child um, in a car, and it's hot out. Um, you know, if they're alert, interacting with you, um, doing normal child behavior, and um, then you probably have a little time. You could probably alert the store, um, not, not necessarily break a window at that point. Um, call 911 would be another option um, and stay there and monitor. Um, signs of heat stroke and when they're moving into heat illness will be lethargy, um, starting to look drowsy, um, starting to look irritated, and starting to look flushed. And any of those signs, um, then you should go ahead and uh, feel free to either, if 911's not there, then uh, make a, mo a more urgent move and break a window or do what you can to get the kid out of the car. And we know Colorado has a good Samaritan law, meaning you can break a window if you need to save a child or even a pet. Why do you think kids are forgotten in cars sometimes? Because as parents, you, you just think, oh, that won't happen to me, but it happens. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I mean, I think a lot of the things we do in automobiles are routine and automated. And, um, you know, uh, good people can just make, uh, you know, have something bad happen to them. So I think the more we put out this message, good time of year to put it out, um, the more we can kind of try to break up our routines and be conscious about what the heat can do to kids. Yeah. And how else can we prevent these kinds of tragedies? You know, um, sometimes uh, one of the things I think about is not leaving the car, um, so leaving the car locked. So kids are really, really, really smart and they like to get into cars but can they get out, you know? So sometimes if a car's left in the front street, it's in the sun, they get in, they can't get out. So that's one strategy to, for prevention. Um, another strategy is to, some people have talked about leaving their cell phone in the back seat. Um, that way, when you go to get out of the car, people are usually checking for their phone, or if you have a uh, fob keys, mm -hmm. then you'll make an automated look back at your children. Um, so it's usually things like people are running into a store quickly to get goods for the family. So. Um, those, that's one way to break down the automation and prevent this. Dr. Sala, thank you so much for coming on. This is all important information, especially because we've had such hot days. So yeah. thank you. And of course, you can watch all of our Health Watch interviews on our website. Just go to cbscolorado.com.